in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. My sisters, my brothers, we're celebrating offering this Mass to remember the Pistani family. Two brothers, Robert and Frank and Mary Ella, mother, all who died in January last year. So this is the first anniversary. So to remember to pray for Mary Ella, remembering that a year ago of Robert Frank in Linga. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words of what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. So far, I ask, blessed Mary, of the Virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray to me to the Lord our God. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, to give us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God the Father, glory to God the Son, glory to God the Holy Spirit, each a God that God is born. Let's pray. Almighty, ever living God, direct our action according to your good pleasure. That in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, we love to run with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now our Angela and John tell us to do the reading for us. A reading from the scroll of Jonah. The Lord spoke to Jonah. Go, go to the big system, Nineveh, and preach to the people there as I told you. Jonah obeyed the Lord and went to Nineveh. Nineveh was a very big city. It took three days to walk through the city. Jonah walked into the city and after a full day's walk, started to preach to the people. He said, in 40 days, Nineveh will be destroyed. The people of Nineveh believed this message from God. They decided to talk. Everybody from the oldest to the youngest. And they wore sackcloth to show that they repented. God saw that the people had given up their evil ways. God changed his mind and did not punish the people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
response. Lord, teach me your ways. Lord, teach me your ways. Lord, teach me your ways. Help me to live with the truth. Because you, God, you are my saviour. Do not remember my sins, but give me your love. Lord, teach me your ways. The Lord is truly good. He shows the right way to sinners. He leads humble people the right way. He teaches his way to the poor. Lord, teach me your ways. <coughs> A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something because we do not have much time left. Starting from now, married people should live as if they were not married. Sad people should live as if they were not sad. Happy people enjoy life should live as if they were not happy and have nothing to laugh about. People that love buying things should live as if nothing belongs to them. People busy with the things of the world should live as if these things were not important. You should live this way because the world as it is now will soon be gone. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John the Baptist was put into prison, Jesus went to Galilee. And there preached the good news. Jesus said, Now the time. The kingdom of God is near. Change. Repent. And believe good news. Jesus was walking near the sea of Galilee saw two fishermen, Simon and brother Andrew, throwing nets into the sea. Jesus said to them, Follow me, I will teach you to catch people. Straight away, they brought their nets, left and followed Jesus. Jesus continued walking and saw two other brothers, James, John, son of Zebedee. They were in boat with their father and men working with them, mending their nets. 
จึงจะขอทำช่วยช่วยตัวละตัวเปตัวฟาดัวอัมพาราเฮมตัวก้าวออกจากโลกไปที่โลกทีก็เพื่อที่จะวิ่งไปฟังเรื่องอะไรที่น่าสนใจตั้งใจคอยนิ่งไปแล้วโอ้ก็ตัวอันเมย์ก็จิตตัวเวอร์ฟังไอจิวเวอร์เวอร์ฟลายเอ็มอกงั้นเอ็มอกจูเอ็งเอวะนะมอกจูจะปิดจะสิเอ็งเอวะจะจุยไปอิสลามิกอันโอเคไออัดไออัดจะจุยไปนึกไปบ้างฮิสตอรี่ไอ้ที่นั่นเจ้าก็ได้เข้าไปได้เลยคือพวกฟูดิชิตี่ก็ได้ไปมาถึงเอฟเอลวอกฟูดิชิตี่มันจะจะฟูมันก็ทำยังจังฮาร์ลันโอเคเฮดมิคูบูฟูลันดอนฮาร์ลันมาเทดมิคูบูฟูบาร์มิงแอมโอมันจูสัยจะเล่นงอกตัวใดไม่ไปฟังลันดอนไม่ไปฟังอีคูเวไม่ไปพูดใดเพราะฟันจะมาไว้ไม่ดีปัดนิ่งไปตัวใดจะก็ฟังไปแล้วแล้วไม่จะไปเกิดตัวอีกแต่ไอ้มันเป็นวิกันตั้งวันวัก Through the ruin of the Gatoy building, and took about eight hours to walk because Gatoy took its deed where the roads. So it's a rare place, not made up real. Has a new name, Mokro. Maybe you can go deeper. But I want to focus on the car. She is a car for men to follow. For men, Simon, Andrew, John, and John. These four men were fishermen working. They had their own business. They had their own boats, and Jane and John worked with their dad, Deputy, and other men worked together. But the same place also had Simon and Andrew. Made me wonder their boat, their net. Who took over? Who looked after their business? So I can imagine for know that Simon was married. He had a mother-in-law. Uh, maybe, maybe he had children. I don't know. Maybe he had son. Maybe he had son carrying on the family business of fishing. We don't know. Third thing, not really important, they think about 
fidgety, not really important. What important is the message, change, repent and follow. That message from Jonah, the people heard and changed. That same message from Jesus, Jesus repeat, now the time, change, repent, believe, good news. When I read that, I reminded, I've seen those words before, repent and believe good news. Then I remembered, yes, every year, Ash Wednesday, the priest or deacon tells the people that come forward for the ashes. The priest tells them repent, believe the good news. Or sometimes the priest says, remember you like that and to that you will return. Change, repent, believe the good news is a good message. And it's interesting that Jesus used those words to call the four men. They left everything, mother-in-law, family, friends, Home, business, everything left to follow the strange man named Jesus. He became important because he, Jesus, became the savior of the world. And that is good news because gives us the promise of life eternal, a promise of everlasting life with God forever. And that promise we know Marianas, brothers, father-in-law, husbands, Robert and Frank, and her mother, they had been one day responding to God's call, come faithful, come to the place prepared for you. Do we need to pray for Mariella, to pray for inner strength, to continue life without her husband, without her brother-in-law, and her mom. Those four men, Simon, Andrew, Jane, and John, left everything and followed. We know Robert, Frank, and Nina also left everything and followed God. We know to pray for your kingdom because we believe good news. God, keep me your ways. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in God the Holy Spirit. Each is God, the God the one. This week, finishing tomorrow, is being a week of prayer for Christian unity. We pray 
the people all over the world, but especially for the people of Iraq, the country of Nineveh or modern Mordor. We pray for Iraq people, the Christian to continue that way. We also pray that hopefully in March, all being well, Pope Francis will visit that place to bring hope and unity. Such a doctor, we pray to the Lord. We also pray for peace and unity in America. They have a new president, a new possibility, new hope. We pray that this new opportunity will help the people of America come together again as one family, one nation, united and first and first. But it all okay. We continue to pray for those who are ill, especially those who have acquired coronavirus. We pray for them, their carers, nurses, doctors, and the many people that look after them. Also, want to pray again for my brother-in-law, Kirby. But he made some improvement and recovered from his stroke. This is all for a pray to the Lord. Pray for those people who have died, remembering it badly, calling Dyer. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Let the perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Praying now for our own personal intention. This is our prayer. We pray to the Lord. Now I ask the mother of Jesus to pray with us as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us singers now, and at the hour of our death. Faith then, my sacrifice to the Lord may be a sacrifice to God, the Almighty Father. Accept 
that offering, Lord, and in sanctifying them, grant they may have heart for salvation through Christ's order. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we thank you because you give us a world that is wonderful. We can live in peace and be happy with our family and friends. Father, we thank you because you gave us Jesus, your Son, before we, your people, wandered far away from you. But Jesus led us back to you. Now we can walk and move away with you, Father, and with each other. And that is why we call Ezra and Son. We thank you and praise you. Holy, 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 Lord God of hope, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Let it the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, truly you are holy. Let your Holy Spirit come down on the flag of wine. The Holy Spirit will bless them, change them into the body and blood of Jesus. At the last supper, before Jesus died, Jesus could pray. We thank you, Father, for what the bride gave us to his friends. Take this, all of you, and eat. For this is my body given up to you. After supper, again, Jesus thanked you. Jesus took the chalice of wine, gave it to his friends. Jesus said, Take this, all of you, and drink. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. With this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Stay us, stay of the world, for by your heart in resurrection you free us. Father, truly we remember Jesus. We proclaim his death, resurrection, and ascension. We look forward to the day when Jesus will come again in glory. Father, we offer you this bread, this wine, the body and blood of Jesus. We offer ourselves to you in Jesus. Father, let your Holy Spirit come down on us. If we receive the body and blood of Jesus, the Holy Spirit will bring us together as friends and help us grow together in love. Father, whatever your serve, help Pope Francis, all our local bishops, and all priests. Deacons, protect us 
your living people, the man bring forth the marker temple. The man for black people, especially Robert, Frank, Pistari, and mother of Mariella Nina. Nigga draw home to you. He lived with Mary, the mother of Jesus, Gertha, the father of all the saints. Father, we pray to you forever, with Jesus your son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Father, we pray to you, we thank you, we adore you forever, and ever. Amen. Our oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy word be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day of thy bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Break the grand peace all our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of you, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the face of your church. Grant we grant peace and unity and covenant with your word. We we'll will live and reign forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other sign of peace. The Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, who take the words in the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, who take the words in the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who take the words of sin to the world, the logic of those or the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof, but only to the word and my soul shall be here. Body and blood of Christ. Amen. Now together through the prayer with spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things. I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. 
Then thy heart receives you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever and ever. I mentioned that all week we have been praying for Christian unity. So I'm using the final prayer from tomorrow, the end of the week. Holy God, we thank you for creating and loving us. We thank you for your presence in us and in nature creation. May we learn to look at the world as you look at the world with love. And we hope our vision will help us to work to improve our world, where justice, peace, and work with love and mercy to the glory of your name. The Lord to you. May Almighty God 